Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I hurt my foot at the Senior Bowl. It was a uh, plantar fasciitis, and just um, it wasn't really anything major. Just couldn't really uh, do a little bit for a couple of weeks. I didn't want to really come out here and not be prepared or, or hurt a little bit worse. So um, nothing serious. Going to try and get ready for Pro Day on the 23rd. Yeah. Uh, it was great. Um, like you said, good week. It was good. Um, at Ohio State, really had one coaching staff the whole time, which was great. Didn't really have a lot to uh, adapt to, so picking up a new playbook pretty quick was was a good uh, experience for me, and I feel like I did a pretty good job of it. And um, yeah, there's a bunch of great tight ends on my team, so it was cool to just um, you know talk to those guys, talk about our game, and just uh, get together. I, had a, I feel like I had a good week talking to teams, and, and on the field it went really well too. Uh, you can tell right away he's just a pro. Um, obviously, he's got the athletic ability, the talent that um, you look for in a quarterback. But um, my experience with him was just that he, he went about his business the right way. Um, kind of knew what you were getting with him. There wasn't really much um, inconsistency there. Uh, he made the right throws all the time, and he was just a competitor, and that's what you want in your quarterback. Hey, Jeremy, do you have uh, an agenda, or what, what are you here to accomplish? I guess we'll get Yeah. Um, I'm kind of bummed out. I'm not running. I wish I could have ran for everybody. Um, it's kind of what's the big question with me, but um, I'm going to be benching. Uh, I didn't want to come here and do nothing, so I'll be just doing the bench, talking to teams and doing this stuff and uh, just trying to get the most out of it, stay positive throughout the whole process and um, get a good grasp of these interviews and just try and kill those. Yeah, um, I think the biggest thing for me was coming out of high school. I didn't really uh, play tight end at all. It's really just mostly receiver, and that was the biggest decision for me going to Ohio State was I wanted to be that complete guy. I wanted to be the I want to adapt to their toughness and, and, and their culture. And um, I think looking back from when I got on campus there to where I am now, um, I'm going to do whatever it takes to win, whatever it takes for the team to do. No matter what the job is at tight end, I'm going to do it. And I'm not going to just try and uh, check the box. I'm going to try and like get after people and, and uh, do, do the job the right way. So um, whatever the team needed me to do, whatever, whatever kind of job you need at a tight end, I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, I don't know if underrated is the word. I just... Um, I had confidence in myself. Um, people might not think that that's one of my strengths or whatever, but I think I, I believe myself. I know what I can do. It comes naturally to me. And um, biggest thing throughout this whole process is just be myself and, and trust my abilities. That's what got me here. Yeah, I mean, if you look at it that way, um, maybe the production's not there, but um, inside that locker room on that team, uh, if you play tight end Ohio State, you're doing every single job, and you make an impact in every single way. And um, I knew that going into the going into Ohio State that uh, maybe the production might not be there, but um, what I'm going to get out of that program, Coach Mick, all those guys, um, the the person I've become, the player I've become, the the, the versatility I've been able to adapt to, um, I don't regret that at all. I'm, I've learned how to play in a really competitive environment, uh, great competition every every week, winning championships, playing games, and. Um, I wouldn't trade that for the world. I think that that's what's made me here. That's what's got me here, and um, I, I, I'm proud of that. Yeah, not uh, yeah. I've been with them. With who? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not yet. I met with like the scouts and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I said before. Um, I don't really get caught up in the numbers a lot. Um, it's easy to get frustrated with that stuff, and that's going to make you play worse. So um, I think the biggest thing for me is just trying to keep a clear head, um, keep training and, and working to be the most complete guy I can be. So um, when that opportunity comes, whenever that is, like make that play. I've always tried to, in big moments or whenever, when it, when it, just rely on what you're trained to do, um, what I've been doing my whole life. And um, if that role's increased, that's increased. I'm going to do what I have to do, and um, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to just show who I am and what, I, what I'm capable of. Uh, just, like I said, be myself. Um, I'm confident uh, internally. I know what I, I, I believe I'm the best, and I want to. I want to show that. But um, I'm not going to be out here like trying to, uh, you know, rah rah and all that, and, and, and try and like show that I'm better than them. I, I, I think internally, I just, just believe that and be confident in yourself because what got me here. And um, I think that's the biggest thing is just knowing that uh, I'm here for a reason. Um, not everybody gets to come here. It's a blessing, and um, just to be excited and, and, and live in the moment. Yeah, I think it's cool because you're kind of just you're talking about yourself. Um, no matter what anybody says, you like talking about yourself. I'm proud of where I came from. I'm proud of my family life. I'm proud of 
uh, my journey at Ohio State. I'm proud of who I've become as a football player and as a person, and uh, just getting able to talk about that. And, and, and uh, the biggest thing with these with these interviews and stuff is you're learning you're learning stuff too. You're learning uh, from some of the best coaches in the world at what they do. Uh, you're learning football. You're learning life lessons, and um, I'm just trying to soak all that in and just like I said, be be myself because that's kind of. I don't want to put on an act because then once you get there and you're just someone different, like it's, it might not be the best fit. So just show them who I am and show them that uh, when I get in the locker room, what I'm going to be like. And um, if, it, if, if, if the fit's right, like it's right. I'm excited for that. Yeah, I think the sky's the limit for him. Um, everybody knows that. Uh, like I said before, his talent's always been there. And the way he goes about his business is um, something that, uh, makes him truly special. He's a pro. Um, you know what you're getting with him, and uh, as he continues to grow and continues to learn, he's only going to get better. And I'm excited to watch it as a friend, but also as like a as a football player, as a football guy. Like 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 you said, the sky's the limit. Yeah, I mean everything I've heard from teams, it's not really a um, major question. They haven't really uh, flat out like said like stuff like that. I think the biggest thing was just. Um, Everybody sees your numbers. Everybody sees what you've what you've done on the field, and um, they have, they raise those questions. But at the end of the day, uh, what, what you see on tape, uh, how you play, your mindset, um, my my God given ability, um, I don't think they're questioning that, and they're just trying to. Um, out of all the things they're asking, that's probably one of the, le- the the things they ask the least. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, some of my friends back home are, are, are Bills fans. I'm, I'm from Long Island, so a little bit south of that. Uh, pretty good trip away, but um, it's the only team in New York, so it, it's uh, a lot of people back home have a sense of pride in that. And, um, yeah, watching Josh Allen, he's special. He's a, he, he, he plays quarterback like a tight end, and uh, it's, it's pretty cool to watch that. And like you said, it's from being from New York, obviously, you, you see a lot of that. Yeah. I'm super proud of where I came from. I love Long Island. Um, people there, the the um, everything about it. And like you said, um, football's not the biggest thing out there. There's other sports that, that take precedent. But um, at the end of the day, like um, I'm super proud of, of being one of the guys that are, like not made it out of there, but but get to represent Long Island and and, and the football there and and just people there. I think that um, doesn't really get talked about a lot. Not not many people in my position are from there, so I think it's really cool. And uh, I'm, I'm definitely not taking it for granted. And I think it's truly special. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I think um, first and foremost, Coach Mick and his and his staff have. Um, I've always been a hard worker, but the way they the way they train you, the way they test you, it's it's super intentional, and it makes you such a better football player and and just man, better player, better person. And uh, I'm proud of that from when I stepped on campus to where I am now, and uh, the development I've been able to um, to go through with Coach Wilson and, and become a complete tight end. And uh, just be able to showcase all the all the jobs that you do at Ohio State as a tight end. You're doing everything. You're you're flexed out. You're in line. You're in the backfield, moving around. And um, I think being able to do that in college at such a high level, playing in, in big time games, big time practices during the week, um, I'm proud of that. And I think that's truly what's made me who I am and why, why I'm here today. Yeah, I think um, Joe Roy has been having a great. Uh, he he really stepped up last year as uh, as one of the guys that emerged. Um, not sure where Cade's going to play. He can kind of do both, play defense or, or, or offense. Uh, G. Scott's coming along well. Um, I haven't got a chance to see the freshman, but um, Mitch Rossi's coming back. He's leading the room. He's my, probably my closest friend there, so you know you're getting with him. He's going to be that. He's going to hold down the room and, and, and lead those guys. And uh, Yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be a good room, and um, I'm excited to get back for Pro Day and, and see all those guys. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely weird um, being able to come in right away and, and, and be talked about, like, with the guys, the cool, uh, being able to be a part of that brotherhood in that room. Um, it's a special room. It's always been. It's 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 tr- uh, they're one of the higher hold to a high standard at Ohio State, and uh, being being one of those groups that's got to lead the team and, and like I said, do all those jobs. So um, I mean, they're going to do a great job. I'm excited for them, and um, like I said, I can't wait to get back. Yeah, quite quite a few times. Yeah, it was it was good. He's a good player. Um, I think that was his freshman year. So. Um, but yeah, you could tell he was special right away. So I'm um, just, you know, respecting that, respecting his ability, and just trying to do my job, not think too much about it. What's up?
Yeah, I've uh, met with them at the Senior Bowl, and I met with them here. I uh, haven't really had, like, the whole formal interview with them, but, um, like, scouts, a few coaches, yeah. Yeah, um, kind of do similar to what we do, just a, lot of, a little bit of everything. Um, they're obviously pretty run heavy with, with Derrick Henry back there, and um, I think that'd be uh, something that I, would, I, I wouldn't have that much. Um, I definitely wouldn't have a problem going there, being able to do all those jobs, and I feel like I have a pretty good uh, background in that. So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of notice the same little th same things as Ohio State, and, um, yeah, pretty much that. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's what you dream about. Uh, you want you want to be able to come here and be able to showcase everything, and um, it's kind of uh, at the same time you're learning and you're being evaluated. It's like all your hard work's being paid. Like you're getting paid for all your hard work here. Um, getting to talk to all the coaches, being able to be in front of all, the, being with the best guys and talk with the best players. Um, it's special and being able to go there with a few guys from 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 school that you've been been with for four years now, and um, it's 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 cool to be able to experience that with them too. Uh, I think you got a lot of versatility in the group, a lot of um, people who can do different things. Um, I think they're going to continue to keep working to be that complete guy, but you got a lot of people who are special in different ways. Um, uh, they're all super tough. They're all going to be able to do it, hold their hold their ground in the run game, but at the same time, they're all super talented in their own way. I think that um, the leadership that Mitch is going to have in that room and, and and Coach Wilson and those guys, I think that they're going to have they're going to be producing just like everybody else has for for the past few years at tight end. I think it's a position that. Like everybody knows, um, doesn't get a lot of love, but is super a uh, huge contributor to the offense, and uh, you need to have that, or else the offense really don't run as well as it does. Yeah, I think um, the way he's come on this last few years, um, it's not easy to come in as a young guy as a tight end. Um, everybody goes through their struggles. I had my struggles, but um, the way he stayed true to the process and, and, and continued to grow and, and, and bought into it, I think that that's important for him. And um, you obviously see him in practice making those special plays, and you know he's got it in him just to keep. Continue to trust himself and trust why he's there. Uh, he's there for a reason. Just got to be himself and, and be confident in that. Yeah, uh, we've had our informal meetings with both those teams. Um, I was playing with the, the Jets staff at the Senior Bowl, so I got to be around them a lot. Um, I mean, I think people back home would go crazy. They, they would love it, but um, at the end of the day, like, I'm excited no matter where I go. I'm excited to showcase myself and be that player for any locker room I have to be, um, be that guy for that team, for those guys, and um, continue to uh, just keep growing and keep developing the player I want to be. But like you said, back home and in Long Island, they love their, they love their Jets, they love their Giants, and um, it, it would probably be special for them. But. Yeah, I mean, I think I watch a lot of George Kittle. I think I love the way he plays the game, uh, his mindset, uh, all the jobs that he does. He's a f every down tight end, um, can do everything and excels in everything. But the biggest thing that sticks out to me when you watch him is his mentality, his mindset of he's not just trying to block somebody, he's trying to take him out. And uh, I respect that. I try to model my game after that. And um, just being able to watch guys like that, I think that's for sure. You say? <clears throat> Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, um, like I said, I think um, my time at Ohio State, I've done everything. Um, so I feel like I'm comfortable in any situation I, I, I go in. Um, I'm confident in any situation. So uh, I've played almost every position the tight end would play. I've, I've been in line. I've been in the backfield moving around. I've been split out. Um, I think in those situations I played with, with Luke last year, I was more of the, the moving around F kind of tight end. And, and then this year I was more of in line Y. So I, I'm comfortable doing whatever I have to do, and, and, and if a team does a lot of 12, it's great. Uh, pretty much every team in the NFL does that now, so um, I feel like I have a good experience doing all those jobs, and it's going to help me in the long run. Have you met with the Bucs yet? And if so, uh, how'd it go? Uh, like I said, I did, I've done informals with them, but I haven't had any formals yet. Um, i got a few formal meetings coming up after this, so uh, we'll, we'll find out who that's with. Yeah, um, I'm not really trying to get caught up in when I when I get picked or where I, where I end up. Um, the biggest thing for me is when I, whatever team picks me, they pick me for a reason. Um, I'm gonna just try and go there and give them everything I have. And and the biggest thing for me as a rookie is to try and gain the trust and and the confidence of, of my teammates first, and then the coaching staff, and then um, from there just be myself and, and, and take off from there. But the biggest thing for me is um, 
be grateful that um, no matter where I go, like anybody would trade them, trade to be where I am right now. So super humble, super grounded. But at the end of the day, the biggest thing in my rookie year I want to accomplish is gain that trust of that organization, those players on my team that I'm going to be with for hopefully years and years to come and um, just continue to stay grounded and be, and be who I am. Yeah, yeah, it went great. Um, the tight end coaches uh, had a great meeting with him. Um, like you said, wh wh he's been with Kittle for a long time, and I, I told him I kind of like the model of my game after that. Just, uh, the biggest thing with these informal meetings is it's really cool to just talk to those coaches and ask them questions about the game. It can soak in a lot while you're here. Uh, it's not only like they're interviewing me. I get to ask them questions about uh, what they look in a player, how they how they coach certain things. And um, I think especially with those, with that staff and, and uh, Coach Embry with those guys, I think that was a great uh, meeting with me. Um, I'm excited for sure. Uh, sort of. They, they kind of said that they're looking for a certain player, and um, coming from that offense where their where their tight ends do everything and they, and they do it at a high level, um, that's the kind of player they're looking for. And like I said, I'm confident in my ability to do anything, and uh, for sure, yeah. Um, I think obviously the the Big Ten here, the Big Ten championship, my sophomore year against Wisconsin. Um, we're down at halftime and being able to. Uh, have my only catch of the game in that big moment. Um, like I, I think that just sums up my career. Like not really um, having the, that production, all those numbers and, and targets, but um, when the ball comes my way, just making sure like I'm gonna make the most of it and, and whatever I gotta do. If, if the ball's high, if the ball's not, too, I need to make that play because my team needs me to. One first of all, but just knowing that like um, if I, if the team needs me to do this, I need to do it. It's, they're relying on me, not just myself, but my team. So those moments like that, or, or, or coming back and beating Clemson after they beat us the year before, just having. Um, a great game from all the tight ends and the whole offense, just being able to come back and persevere through that. Um, I think I think my whole career has just been uh, extreme. I've been fortunate. I've, I've had so much experience. I've, I've been I've experienced almost anything that uh, a college player can be: highs, lows. Um, going against in practice the best players, uh, stepping on campus and trying to block Nick Bosa and, and those guys, and, and and looking at back where I was that day to where I am now, it's I'm super proud of that and um, continuing to grow, continue to develop. What was it like, what was it like stepping on campus? And um, yeah, I mean, like I, I didn't really come in as a tight end. I came in not really doing much of that. I was recruited as a tight end, but never did it. So it was definitely humbling. Um, there's those, those moments my, that freshman year where you're thinking about like, what, like am I meant for this? But then uh, it all comes back to like that decision. I, I chose to go to Ohio State for a reason, to be in that environment. And obviously, you got special players in practice every day, and it, it'll make playing in the games a little easier. And um, like I said, looking back at those days to where I am now, I'm proud of it. And um, it would have been easy to just pack up and and go somewhere else, but I think that uh, sitting there, talking with Coach Mick all four years, being able to be worked by him, and um, it's, been, it's been super productive for me. Thanks, cool.